Hi everyone, this is Kat here from Crafted My Cat. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the daisy granny square. So you need three different colours of yarn. Um, I've got a yellow for the centre, a white for the petals, and then a purple for the outside. Um, you need a five millimetre crochet hook and scissors. Um, so I should say this is Aran weight yarn. You can use um, double knit weight or any other weight, but it will change the size of the square. So the square, this finished square is about four and a half inches across. Um, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with our yellow yarn and we're going to start by making a magic circle. So if you're unfamiliar, um, I'll go quite slowly. If you're familiar, then you can skip ahead. So drape your yarn over your two fingers like this with the end hanging down and then wrap your yarn all the way around your fingers and turn your hand up the right way and then cross it over into a cross. <coughs> Excuse me. So then we're going to take our hook and you're going to insert your hook underneath this side of the X on the right hand side. You're then going to pull it over and pull all the way through. So then turn your hook so that the loop is on your hook. You're then going to take your hook and put it underneath this left side. Wrap your yarn around and pull through the loop on the hook. Okay, so that is your magic circle. <coughs> you can use it to pull it tight. Um, I'll show you that more at the end. <coughs> Excuse me, I got tickled in my throat. So now we're going to work into the magic circle. So we're going to do two double crochet. That's going to count as our first. Sorry. Okay, so we're now going to chain two and then we're going to work double crochets into the ring. So the first chain two counts as your first double crochet and then we're going to make 11 more double crochets so it will be a total of 12. So yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two on over pull through two so that's three and double crochet four five I'll we'll slow down again so yarn over insert your hook into the ring so you want to go under both of those tails there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's we got one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven, eight. Oh, my yarn's got a bit knotted. Nine, ten, eleven. And 12. So just to count again, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven double crochets, and then our chain two at the beginning. If you're going to take your tail end of your magic ring, you're going to pull it tight, I'll pull it all the way tight, and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. Uh, so slip stitch through, and there we go, and cut your yarn, leave a relatively long tail <coughs> so that you can sew it in, and there we go. So that is the first round of our granny square. Okay, so on the round two, we're going to insert our hook into the top of that chain two, so where we fastened off, just put that end over there. <coughs> I'm going to join our white yarn, so drape it over your hook and then pull it through. So we're going to chain one just to fasten that in place. So that doesn't count as a stitch there, that's just to fasten the, the yarn. <coughs> so we're going to now make a four double crochet together cluster. So start over by yarn over. And insert your hook into that same space, 
yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and just pull through the first two on your hook. And you're going to yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. So you've got three loops on your hook. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now we've got four loops. Yarn over into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now you've got five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay, so that creates your four double crochet together, and that is your first petal. So you're going to chain one. And now, as you see, so that's the first one, and then you want to make the second one into the top of this double crochet. So it's a little bit more tricky to get your hook into. So just make sure you go under both loops. I'm going to yarn over. I'm just going to repeat that again. So through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two. That's four loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's five. So I'll show you one more time. So chain one, yarn over, insert your hook into the double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, so three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So you've got five loops on your hook. You yarn over and pull through all five loops. This can be a bit fiddly, so just be patient and chain one. Okay, so that's three. I'm going to carry on until I've made 12 double crochet, um, four double crochet together clusters all around and I'll meet you back when I finish my 12th. Okay, so I've made 12 petals all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, it is really important to count here because it's the last thing you want to do is get to the next round and realize you've only done 11 and have to start again. So slip stitch into that first cluster and just pull through just a bit short on yarn there but there we go that should be fine okay so then you can pull this back a bit tight um, and that's your second round okay so you want to join your outer color yarn in between any one of these um, petals so it doesn't matter where you start just in between um, the clusters from last round. So you're now going to chain four. This is going to count as your first treble. Um, so that will be the first half of your first corner. So now we're going to treble crochet in the same space to finish off the first half of that first corner. So yarn over once, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, Yarn over, pull through. So we're going to yarn over through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So now you've got two trebles in that first space, um, and we'll come back and finish off that corner at the end of the round. So in the next space, you're going to make three double crochets all in the same space. So one, that's two three and then three double crochets in the next space that's one two and three and then we're going to make our next corner so yarn over twice insert your hook yarn over pull through Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
and yarn over, pull through two. So yarn over twice again, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to do two more trebles in the same space. So yarn over twice, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Um, another treble in there. So you see that's created our first corner. So in the next space, we're going to do three double crochet. Oops. That's one. Three double crochet in there. And then we're going to make our next corner in the next space. So yarn over twice, and do two trebles. Chain two, and then two trebles. Okay, so then in the next two spaces, we're going to do three double crochet in each of the next two spaces. So it's three double crochet. In that space and then three double crochet in the next space okay there we go so now for our final corner we're gonna make two trebles one two and then chain two and two more trebles in that same space. Okay, so that's our third, that's our fourth corner, sorry. And we're going to, to finish it off, we're going to do three double crochet in this space. and three double crochet in the next space. Okay, so we're all the way round. We just need to finish off this first corner. So we're gonna yarn over twice and we're gonna make two trebles in that same space that we started. That's one and two, and then we're going to chain two, and we're going to join to the top of that chain four to finish off the round. Okay. So don't fasten off this time because we're going to carry on working in this outer colour. Um, but that is the end of round three. So for our final round, we're going to be making a double crochet in each stitch around. And then in the corners, we're going to make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet to make the corner. So to start off, we're going to chain two. That'll be our first double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. double crochet in the next stitch so 
So we're just going to double crochet in each stitch around till we get to that corner space. Okay, so we're now at the chain two corner space from the last round. So in this space, we're going to make two double crochet. chain one and then two more double crochet okay so you can see that's made the corner there and then we're just going to double crochet on each stitch to the next corner space Okay, so at the next corner space, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to um, form a square. So carry on working round, so double crochet in each stitch, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the corner space, and I'll meet you back here for this final corner space. Okay, so we've gone around um, for the end of the round, so we double crocheted in each stitch up to here, and then we've got the last chain two space. So in this one, we're just gonna do two double crochet, chain one, Two double crochet in the last space. Okay, and then you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two. Okay, so that is um, the Daisy Granny Square. So you can fasten off yarn pull that through and um, weave in all of these ends at the back um, especially with the magic circle tail make sure you really weave that in um, I recommend tying a knot around here and weaving it back and forth a few times weave in all those ends and then I'll show you how to block it okay so I've weaved in my ends and um, I've left this tail here um, because I might use that for sewing later. So this is a blocking board. It's essentially a wooden board um, with holes in um, and then these pegs to hold things out. You can buy these on um, Amazon, Etsy and various places. If you don't have one, that's absolutely fine. You can use um, a yoga mat, a pillow, anything that you can sort of pin your square out at the corners. So this is an old hair product bottle that I filled with water, so it's just water. I'm going to spray it so it's relatively damp. And then going to put the corners of my square over these little pegs. You can see that stretches it into a bit of a square shape. So I'm now going to leave that to completely dry. Um, and you'll see, I'll show you the one underneath it. So if you see, when you take this off, it then keeps its square shape. So I'll just put this one on. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry and then we're all done. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy making your granny squares and turning them into whatever you like. And um, please subscribe to my channel for more videos um, and I'll see you again soon.